I am now in a tuk-tuk and I am going to the famous Buddhist temple called Kilaya Rajamaha Viharaya. It's a famous Buddhist temple and uh, it's a one hour from Colombo. I took an uh, auto rickshaw, so it's a little bit noisy now. So we are going to talk about it later, but uh, the view is amazing from here. Look! Look at how beautiful and also this is a pretty creative tuk-tuk look all right so the road is long but it's interesting it's very green around let's go and take a look i guess we arrived right this is the place wow we arrived at the temple. I'm not sure where I should go, but I will check. Excuse me, to the temple? It's here? Inside there. Okay, it's Tutti. Okay. So let's go and check this amazing place. Look how beautiful and quiet. It's always full of birds, Sri Lanka. That's why it's also a very peaceful country, because there are always birds. There is also a small temple here, but it's closed. See? Wow. Let's go and explore. I'm always curious to see, to visit Buddhist temples. First because they give me peace of mind and also because I want to discover more about the local culture and as long as Sri Lanka is a, mostly a Buddhist country Look at this And this is the banyan tree Wow <laughs> Hello I am now inside the temple, which is absolutely amazing. It's full of birds and it's so quiet and peaceful. There are a lot of people actually going around and sitting in front of the statue of the Buddha. This temple is very interesting because it has always been associated with the rise and fall of Ceylon, Sri Lanka. Actually, uh, they say that uh, when this temple rose, also Sri Lanka rose. When this temple fell, also Sri Lanka fell. So it's very powerful, the message that is associated also with the political situation in Sri Lanka. This temple is famous for its reclining Buddha statue and also for some paintings from a local artist. And these paintings are showing uh, some important moments of the life of the Buddha and also Buddhism in Sri Lanka. The ancient temple was destroyed many times, but then it was always reconstructed. For example, it was destroyed by the Dravidian invasions uh, from southern India, but then it was reconstructed again. Then the medieval temple was destroyed by the Portuguese in 1510, but then it was reconstructed again. Then in 1927, they started to reconstruct it again, and they completed the construction in 1946. So it's pretty new, the reconstruction. So it's very interesting to see that by times they never let this fall down completely. They always reconstruct it, which means there is something powerful here. There is an important historical event linked to this temple, which is the Buddha visit. Yes, the Lord the Buddha himself chose to visit Sri Lanka three times, and one of them was in this temple. It is said that the Lord the Buddha bathed in the waters of the Kelani River, which is beside the temple. That's why this river is considered sacred by the people of Sri Lanka. Let's go and take a look at this temple. At this point, I'm really curious. Let's go and check. There are some people 
reciting some prayers and mantras. I feel so big spirituality here in the air. The smell is so good actually. You feel the smell of uh, incense and also flowers. Look at the tree. Oh, there is a statue of the Buddha there. And I guess some people put some offerings there. Let's go and take a look. They put all the flowers here. Look at how amazing. Wow. You see there are some small statues of the Buddha. Let's go and check inside. You see people are also reading. Let's follow them and check. Ah, so they are basically going around. So that's how the worship works, you see. They are also offering drinks. And again, I don't know what is written here. I guess I can enter from there. Wow. Oh, look at the view here. There is a huge stupa. A stupa is where you can uh, uh, find the bones or ashes of uh, important monks. inside what amazing things look at the paintings there are inside wow look all around and look at the ceiling also This is the secret place where the Buddha baited. Let's go and check. Wow. Wow. Really amazing. Let's go and see if we can enter the stupa. No, it's just from outside.
We are going to have a selfie together. You are going in my YouTube channel, actually. <laughs> Okay, bye. 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 What they put with the lamps is coconut oil because it was very slippery and there was a smell of coconut oil. So this is interesting. They are going to take incense from there and then they also burn it here for some kind of puja offerings. I notice people of Sri Lanka are so kind. They all smile and nobody minds if I use the camera. They are so gentle. There are some places where people are kind of rude or they really mind, they don't want, but here everybody smile. So you feel welcome. I've been told to wait here for the big bhante. I guess it means the, the biggest monk is the chef of all the place. And he is now meditating there. And they told me when he finished to meditate, he can come to me. Hopefully, he will grant me an interview uh, for my channel. Let's see. First of all, thank you for thank you. Uh, listening to my questions. Yeah. So I would like to know, what is a life according to Buddhism? How should we live life? Because I know that uh, what I learned from Buddhism is the impermanence of all things. So no cringing, no attachment, but let things go, the good and the bad. Yes. Yes. So this was the main teachings of Buddhism for me. Yeah. So, uh, the, when you are talking about uh, human life, yeah. uh, according to Buddhism, mm -hmm. um, it is a very rare uh, opportunity mm. uh, to have a birth in a human birth is a rare opportunity. So, you get this opportunity in order to understand your life. In your life, according to Buddhism, we have uh, uh, two aspects. Mm. One is the, at this very life and the life that is coming to be okay, in yes. future. Yes. So the Buddha taught his the teachings of the Dhamma how to use it for you for the benefit of the in this very life as well as in the coming life. Yes. So that is the uh, simple way of uh, explaining. So for the in this very life the Buddha never deny okay uh, to have wealth in this uh, physical world okay you can have wealth uh -huh. okay you can have wealth yeah. uh, but you have to uh, think or you have to apply uh, certain factors when you use the wealth, when you live in this human world using the material things, one is as you said, do not cling. Okay, first. Yes. No attachment. No to attachment. Uh, yeah. And also, you should not go into deep of that you know, the material things. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And the third is that always think of the bad side of 
are using the material things. Mm. Mm? Always remembering yeah. also the bad, bad that can yeah. come from that. Mm. You have to be ready for uh, abandoning your material life. Okay. So, uh, having this particular factors or the practice in your mind, you can use material things in this life. You can be a rich person mm -hmm. uh, and also you can have a very good family life. Uh, having wealth, uh, uh, children mm -hmm. and relatives etc. Mm -hmm. okay. This is yes. the one. Then the comes the next life, okay? Yes. Because in Buddhism we believe rebirth. Yeah. <coughs> there is a continuity. Yes. Uh, repeated existence, we call. Mm -hmm. So uh, there, uh, we have to be very careful, okay? Because after death, uh, you may, you may have a birth in the hell, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. We call apaya. Yeah. You may have a birth in human birth. Mm. You may have a birth or the or appearance in the heaven. Or you may have a uh, appearance again in the form world or formless world. We call it Brahma Loka. Okay. okay. So you believe also in a heaven? Yes. <coughs> so when it's when we reach heaven is the nibbana? No. 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 If you that is why we have to be very uh. very careful. Human world, uh, it's not uh, uh, a permanent, everlasting uh, uh, existence. Yes. Okay? Changeable. Mm. Then heaven also uh, not a everlasting or a permanent existence. So it's not the last stage. No. no. Okay. When when the merit is over, you have to come back. Okay. You are going to heaven mm -hmm. because of the good deed what you have done. Okay. Okay. So yes. the, because of that result, you get a chance to mm. be in the heaven. Mm. Not there is no birth in the heaven, okay. just appearing. Okay. After that, just appearing as a god in the heaven. Yes. Okay. Now in human world, you, you have to undergo certain uh, uh, physical difficulties in the womb of the ma ma yes. mother. You have to be there yeah. for uh, ten months. So yeah. that is di uh, difficult. But in heaven, no, just appearing. Ah. Yes. And, and then? Then you will, you, you may enjoy. Mm. You have to enjoy in the heaven. What and you then do. you rebirth again? Yes. When you, when, when the power is over. Okay. What would happen? Mm. You have to come back. Power is merit. Ah. I never understood this part. Yeah. So we can reach heaven. We reborn again. Yeah. Either there or a Human world or, 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 or hell also oh, after after okay. uh, after when you leave okay. the heaven. So the cycle will never end. No, until you achieve the nirvana. Okay. You have you have this kind of existence. Ah. The Brahma Loka is we call Brahma Loka form and formless state. Yes. It is higher than heaven. Okay. Okay. Very higher than heaven. For there you have to achieve. The trance, you know, trance. Mm. Trance is we call the we in samadhi. We call you have to meditate mm. and yes, samadhi. In samadhi yeah, so yeah. tranquility. Uh, yes, yes. yes. Certain the, state. Uh, mind is calm. Yes. Yeah. So when you reach to that uh, calmness, okay, but not uh, decaying of that uh, calmness, you may have a uh, existence in Brahma Loka, form or formless. Okay. Because this calmness is not permanent. Mm. Uh, it, it also changing. Yes. Because when you when you have a last or desire, then you will then go you down. Then you go again down. down. Yes. So that if you can maintain that calmness. Yes. And uh, during that time, if you have a um, death, then you will definitely go to the uh, the Brahma Loka, which is the highest. Where the highest. Okay. okay, and then you will not be born again. Again, you, you have to come back. Again, again, yeah. come out to come back. Mm. That is why the Hinduism thinks that uh, for once you read there, that is a permanent everlasting. No. This is a wrong, ah, uh, wrong okay. belief. Okay, because once you achieve to that particular state, you may uh, you you find that okay, uh, one existence, two existence, third one hereafter no, it is blank. So you think that, oh, that blank is nothing but the uh, uh, nirvana, they, they think. 
Okay. But no, no, no. Uh-huh. Have to come back. Mm. So, when you have uh, birth in human world, then you have last hatred, ignorance. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, but when you go to heaven, also you have these three things. Mm. But in Brahma Loka, the third world, you subdue it. Okay. Okay. Yes. You subdue it, but uh, th- those things are remain as a dormant form. Mm. Okay. So, but that is why we are called Brahma Loka, also not a permanent mm. existence. Is there a but? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So then you have a logical argument. These places you have hatred, um, uh, desire, hatred, and ignorance. Three places. So, what is the permanent um, place? Permanent place where there is no desire, where there is no hatred, where there is no ignorance. Which is very difficult. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. How can we achieve that the, through meditation? Through meditation, mm. and uh, there are um, uh, um, uh, certain things you have to practice. Uh, we okay. call eight noble uh, path. Okay, mm-hmm. eight noble path. So when you follow it, eight noble path cover uh, mainly uh, three things one is uh, you have to be uh, uh, mindful okay mm-hmm. then you have to be in a position to understand the things okay mm-hmm. then you have to uh, control your vocal deed as well as physical deeds as well as uh, the you have to observe or you have to undertake a proper livelihood proper livelihood. Mm. Now for instance, the farming is a proper livelihood. Okay. Good job. Farming. Farming. Okay. But if you uh, uh, take as a fishing, mm. it disturbs you. Because you kill. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So no killing. No killing. Yeah. So in that process, you have to be very, yes, very yes, careful. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, uh, th- thirdly, we have to follow the meditation. Mm. You have to follow the meditation. Mm. So when you follow these three steps, you will. It mm. covers two, three things: sila, the virtue, the samadhi, concentration. Then third one, panya is wisdom. Panya is wisdom. 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 Okay. Wisdom and the knowledge is two different things. Mm. Knowledge is not uh, thing something uh, changing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Knowledge can be everlasting. Mm. You after reading. After listening, mm. after um, uh, teachings, mm. etc., mm. you can get some knowledge. Mm. But if you want to uh, read more and more, if you um, uh, neglect listening, mm. knowledge will disappear. Mm. Okay? In yes. order to um, uh, firm your knowledge, you have to fo- um, you have to read more and more. Mm-hmm. Yeah? You have to listen more and more. Mm-hmm. Okay, you have to follow t- uh, different courses. Yes, and, and for meditation, the vipassana meditation. Yes, yes, you will go to wisdom. Okay, wisdom is nothing but understand the reality mm. as it is. Yes, and accept it as it yes. is. Right. Yes. yes. So that is that is mean that my knowledge that the wisdom comes by rooting out the desire, hatred, and ignorance mainly. Mm-hmm. It's so very difficult. Very mm-hmm. difficult, very. but you know, uh, uh, possible. Yeah. Huh? Yes. What do you suggest to normal people like me to meditate every morning, for example? Yes. When morning, we wake up, when our call, brain yes, is yeah. fresh. Actually, the best time, uh, according to the, uh, the we call the commentaries. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we call Brahma Murti. Uh, Bra- morning. Yeah, morning Bra- at four, four, o'clock. four o'clock. Right. Yes. Brahma Murti. If you can uh, meditate at that time, you can uh, post, um, concentrate properly. It's before the sunrise. Yes. Right? The hour before the sunrise, yeah, I right. guess. That time is the best for best, meditating. Best time. Because your brain is uh, yeah, because silent. Because you are silent, calm. Mm. And surround you. Yes. Huh, for how long? An hour? Well, yeah, actually, when you start, start from 5 minutes. Mm. Then you can increase to 10 minutes, 15. Mm. 30, 1 hour and 2 hours etc. Wow, 2 hours. <laughs> yes, because sometimes you say, oh, I don't have time. But actually, we, we can find the time. Fine, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, only, only thing that thing, that means that the people say that we, I don't have time. Mm-hmm. Yes, they don't have time because they engage with uh, uh, the worldly affairs. Yeah. Okay? 
so they won't find the time. But the time is there. If you regularize and they are timetabled properly, enough time. Yeah, when we are always on the phone, no? Yeah. Okay, just cut the time when you are on the phone and then you find the time. time. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. It's, it's and unnecessarily talking with the friends, etc. Yeah. And they are, we, we call it is useless talks. You know, uh, the wrong uh, vocal deeds. Okay. The wrong? Vocal, mean by yes, speech. Yes, vocal, yeah. By, by deeds. deeds. There are three things. One is lying. Mm. Hmm? Uh, second one is abusing. Mm. Okay. Uh, third is uh, bad biting. You know, bad biting. You say something wrong about your friend. So I listen it and I go into it. See, mm -hmm. she, she said this to you. Yeah. That is we call bad biting. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Then the fourth one is useless talk. Mm. We do a lot of useless lot, talk. Lot. Yeah. So you, if you stop this, you have time. Yes. In the coffee shop, what you do? The third thing. Mm. You start talking. Mm. You are talking about the the best uh, singer. You are talking about him. Then you are talking about one film, oh, nice film, etc. You start talk. It yes. doesn't help you. Help yes. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How can you gain a wisdom if you continue yeah, to talk yeah, yeah. continuously? Yes. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Thank it was very, very, very useful. Thank and uh, yes, I think I will continue my journey in discovering Buddhism in Sri Lanka. Yeah, sure. Yes. Sure. Uh, what is your name, by the way? Mahinda. Mahinda. Yes. And you are the head of the temple? Temple, yes. Okay, yeah. yes. And by the way, the Buddha was here, right? Yeah, yeah. The, mm. For the three times Buddha visited to Sri Lanka, mm. third visit was to this place. Mm. So this is a very sacred place yes. and a uh, lot of uh, power is there. The power means uh, people come here and worship and they recite uh, the uh, sutras etc. So that uh, the power of words of course remain in the uh, air. Yeah, and I feel the energy is yes, so peaceful. Yes, energy mm. is there. Yes, yes. So the person who of course uh, like to meditate and concentrate, of course, this environment helped him. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I felt it, and many people were reciting yeah, around yeah. this way. Nice. And also, a lot of uh, uh, deities, gods, of course, surrounded here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because they surrounded here means the people, after worshipping, we transfer the marriage to them. Mm. Uh, th that is the, the main thing that they expect because they remain in the heavenly, uh, in the heaven mm -hmm. because of the merits. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we recharge. Mm -hmm. by, by giving the merits, we recharge mm -hmm. that power. Yeah, so yeah, they yeah. Like. This is nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you.